things. Uh, you just want to All right. I know we did this twice, but I got to do it again every time, okay? If we're asking you questions, I got to read your rights. Either right to remain silent, anything you say you can, will be used against you in the court of law. You either right to talk to a lawyer for advice before we question you, have it with you during questioning. If you can afford to hire a lawyer and you want one, a lawyer will be provided for you. If you decide to answer questions now without a lawyer, you still have the right to stop answering questions at any time. Do you understand that? Okay. Go ahead and sign there. Let me take the gas off. Look, you know, I'm not signing that. I don't want to okay, sign you don't have to sign anything. You understand your rights, though, right? Yeah. That's all I need. A verbal yes? Yeah. Okay. What's this coat going to be here? Or is that just a fairy tale? It's coming. He's getting there right now. He'll be here in about two minutes. He has to watch the sewing machine. What do you want to talk about? Well, I need to know what this DOC or PMP hold is. What's that about? That's with your uh, parole. What What does that mean? Basically, they put a parole violation on you. They put a violation on me? So I had this before? Or what? No, no. I got, I got your violation. You did? Yeah. For what? For uh, armed robbery. I ain't been charged with armed robbery. Thank you. Well, I'm charged with armed robbery. You and, uh, possession of a firearm. You on? Yeah. I thought I got PFI on that. You did. You know, you know what PFI means, right? Pending in further investigation? Yeah, basically what that means is because there's no prosecutor on the weekends, I PFI you. Monday morning, I call the prosecutor, and we write the case, and then we get a warrant for you for armed robbery. Uh, it tastes good. Mm-hmm. I talked to Aaron. I talked to Becky. Yeah. Got their statements. And they made statements? Yeah, yeah they, they said. statements. Basically, I just taught him because when Officer Hawkins arrested you, he told you that uh, you told him that you were in there. I didn't say I was there. I just said I stayed there that night. Had you been there during the night? Yeah. Did Aaron know you were there? I'm pretty sure he did, yeah. I mean, he might have been asleep, but that's where I was staying that night. What time did you get there? No. You know what? I'm not answering no more questions. This is bullshit. I'm happy to help you out. Well, you can't help me, man. Well, I can't. But... Can I have my buddy come to please? Just freeze your coat first. I don't get why I'm. I don't. I don't well, here, here's, here's what the deal is. I have enough evidence. Like what? Of the armed robbery. Okay. But, you know, if, if you're saying you didn't do it, you need to give me your side of the story. I didn't do it. Okay, well, give me your side of the story. You got to, I mean, convince me. Because I got a lot of evidence. I got a lot of physical evidence. Well, like what? Name the physical well, I don't need to, I, Why should I tell you that? I mean, you haven't been, you haven't been helpful to me at all. Because you don't, because I don't believe that you got any evidence. Yeah. Well, here, here's it. I, I'll give you one piece of my evidence, okay? Yeah. One piece. The phone for 7-Eleven was taken by the suspect, whoever that was, okay? It was taken by the suspect and it was thrown in the dumpster behind 7-Eleven, okay? We got DNA off that phone. Right? That's one piece of my evidence. I have a lot of other evidence, okay? Like what? There, there's only a couple pieces of evidence I'm missing. Name them. What's that? Name them. Well, why, why do I need to do that? You haven't helped me out at all. You give me a little bit, I give you a little bit. We go back and forth. I give you one of my pieces of evidence, now give me a little something. All right? What time did you get over to Aaron's house? No, no anything I say here can and will be used against me. Sure, but anything you say here, I can also tell your your, your parole officer that what? you helped me out. 
That doesn't mean dick. It, sure it does. Well, you arrested me for robbery it's tomorrow. So what the fuck does that do? You help me out, I can help you out. Sir, you first. can't tell me that you can help me out. Because all you said is that you're charging me with some bogus-ass armed robbery bullshit. Okay. And I don't believe... I don't, I, there's no way. I didn't do it. There's no way. How drunk were you? Were you drunk? No, I was pretty sober. So you're in your right mind. You remember everything about the night, right? Yeah. <clears throat> so you couldn't have done something not remembered. You couldn't have gone and robbed the place and not remembered? Fuck, no. Okay, so you would remember if you robbed the place? No. Okay. What about Is this all being recorded, huh? And written down? I'm not writing anything down right now. But they are. I don't right. think there's anybody watching it. The guy that brought me the coach writing, writing reports. You asked me to bring you up here. I, I mean, I was done talking to you. If you want, I mean, why don't we just talk about the gun? Let's start there. Well, okay. Well, I don't fucking have a gun or own a gun. Okay. I, I don't think you do. I know, I, know, I know you don't own one. Okay. But I need to know where that gun came from. I don't have. What the fuck are you talking about? The gun you were sitting on. I was sitting on? Yeah. What the fuck are you talking about? Over at Aaron's house. I don't know what you're talking about. Because Aaron says it wasn't his. I don't know what you're talking about. Like I said, you give me a little, I'll give you a little. All right? I got a lot more I can tell you about the whole thing. But you got to help me out, too. I don't know what you're talking about. Because so I'm willing to go to the prosecutor. I'm willing to go to the parole officer. And say, this guy's a good guy. He helped me. Nah, out. He nah, me nah. Hey, you know what? I've man? been doing this a long time, man. I have. A... I've been doing this a long time. Me too. I know. I know. I remember back in 2002, I was on the case. I worked that case as a patrol officer. Okay, I've been doing this a long time. I know you don't want to go back to jail, right? Back to prison? Well, fuck. It looks like I am a fifth, and you're going to charge me with some bogus shit. You guys don't... I mean, what What do you got, really? That I, I was at a buddy's house, and I happened to come outside because you guys were fucking swarming the area, and they which fucking... Door, which door did you come out of? I came out of the uh, front door. You know what? I'm not saying that. Though, man. Fucking me. dog going crazy. I got... You know what? I'm done. Huh? I'm done, man. Fuck this. I'm not even answering. All this shit that I just said is going to be fucking written in the discovery now, right? What? You haven't said nothing. <laughs> I mean, every little stupid thing that you've asked me, dude, is going to be in the discovery. I'm not even going to do discovery. The prosecutor is. Okay. So, I mean... You, you halfway know the system, how things work, and you halfway don't. Am I right? I half-ass know yeah. that the only reason I came up here is to get a fucking Coke. Okay. And I got it, but now I want a Butterfinger. But that's not going to happen for a while. <laughs> what, the Butterfinger? Yeah. Why not? <laughs> I need to go to the hospital. I'm coughing up blood. Let's go to the hospital. Okay. <clears throat> I work the jail, I know you go to the hospital. You still have me back here, you know that, right? Where? Here in the jail, as soon as you get out of the hospital. Oh, I don't You're not getting out. Oh, no. I can't finish it? Go ahead and finish it. Make it quick. I got things to do. I got Butterfinger, you promise. I didn't promise you that. I said we'd see what happens. Alright? Like I said, you haven't helped me out at all. Why should I help you out? I got you a soda, that's good enough.